A chord is a segment connecting two points on a circle. The shorter arc formed by the endpoints of the chord is called its corresponding minor arc. If we are given a circle, or two congruent circles, with two congruent chords, we can prove that their corresponding minor arcs are also congruent. To do this, we have to remember a couple things. First, we have to remember that the measure of an arc is equal to the measure of its central angle. And a central angle is the angle formed by the arc's endpoints and the center of the circle. Now that we have those definitions out of the way, let's begin our proof. We're going to start with a circle with two congruent chords. Then we're going to construct the segments that form the corresponding central angles. As you can see, these segments are radii of the same circle, so we know that all of them are congruent. And since we know that the chords are also congruent, we can prove that these two triangles are congruent using the side-side-side congruence postulate. And then, using CPCTC, we know that these angles are congruent, and since they're the central angles of the arcs, that makes the minor arcs congruent. Can we also prove the converse is true? Let's see. So if we know that these minor arcs are congruent, can we prove that the corresponding chords are also congruent? To do this, we're going to have to draw the triangles again. Since these arcs are congruent, we know then that the central angles are congruent. And again, since all radii of a circle are congruent, we know that two pairs of sides of the triangles are congruent. And since the central angles are the included angles, we can use the side angle side congruence postulate to prove that these two triangles, again, are congruent. And then using CPCTC, we know that these sides are congruent, so yes, we can prove that the converse is also true. That if we know that the minor arcs are congruent, then the chords must be congruent too. So, since we can prove this theorem in both directions, we can write it as a biconditional. In the same circle, or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent.